Hey guys, if you've been paying any attention recently to Twitter and Reddit, it's no secret that ranked Valorant is not in a very good state. Smurfing and boosters plaguing lower elos, people betting on high elo games on cryptocurrency sites, and then stream sniping high elo players so they can run it down and ensure that they win their bet, or even going as far as to message other people in games that they've bet on and offer them money for them to throw. There's a lot of problems, but in this video specifically, I'm going to focus on the five stacking abuse problem and how people are utilizing it to get to high elos and ranks that they do not deserve without ever playing people in these ranks. So first, I just want to talk about the different types of boosting. There is the type of boosting where someone simply gets on a smurf and duos with you to carry you, or sometimes they'll even play on your account. The only way that that would be addressed is if Riot did something about smurfing. But regarding the five stacking boosting, there is a type of boosting where one player will get boosted by four higher skilled friends that get on low elo smurf accounts. And then there's another type of five stack boosting where they are manipulating the system to consistently match against the same five players over and over. Every match is forfeited at round five, and they are basically doing this to make sure that the account has lower hidden MMR so they can end the games as quick as possible and just continue racking up RR. So we're going to quickly talk about the first five stacking type, which is where it is one player getting boosted by four friends on lower elo smurfs. I'm going to use this tweet that I saw from Boxbox as an example. He tweets, what do you do when this happens? And as you can see, he was 5 queued on a plat account with some silver friends, another plat friend, and a diamond friend. And they went against a five stack of an immortal three and four iron accounts. And these are obviously not true iron accounts. These are people on smurfs. I went to go look at the Immortal 3. This is a real account. If we take a look at his previous acts, he was Ascendant 2, last act. He was Ascendant 1, Episode 5, Act 1. Episode 4, Act 3, he was Diamond 1. Episode 4, Act 2, he was Plat 3. Episode 4, Act 1, he was Plat 1. So this is somebody that had been playing normally and kind of slowly climbing the ladder. I went even further and he was down in gold in previous acts. So he climbed from gold to Platinum to Diamond to Ascendant. And I'm pretty sure what happened is upon seeing all these different people abusing the system, he was kind of stuck in Immortal and he probably wanted to get Radiant, so what did he do? He joined in. So if I scroll down here, really quickly, we're going to go to December 28th, and you can see this massive win streak. This 13-5 on Pearl here, this is the exact game that Boxbox tweeted about. As you can see, 5 stack, you can see their stats. Even if I just quickly open up this huge win streak of games, you will see that he is consistently 5 stacking with people on Smurf accounts in Iron and Bronze, which brings down the average MMR of the lobby. And the matchmaker is trying to find an even match for what it thinks is an Immortal 3, Bronze, and Iron players. So it's matching him against Golds and Plats and a Silver. And if you do this, you can see that they will consistently pretty much stomp or win almost every game. And some of these people will get on different accounts. When the other accounts MMR is getting too high, they'll log on to a different smurf to still ensure that they match against Silvers and Irons. And normally these games are stomps. You're seeing 13-5s, you're seeing 13-3s, the other team surrenders a lot. There's a game in here where, coincidentally, they go against an enemy smurf. Feel free to pause if you want to take a look at one of these matches in more depth. As you can see, different people getting on these different low elo accounts to make sure that they keep the average MMR low. Here is their match against an enemy smurf where we have a gold one going 34 and 17 with 250 ADR trying to carry his five stack. Obviously not a true gold one, the same way that this is not a true iron three. And then if you go look at his tracker, you notice what happens is he went through this giant win streak through Immortal 3, which is the hardest part of breaking into Radiant, and he got Radiant. And once he got Radiant here, for the most part, he stopped doing the 5 stacking, and he is now hovering back down in Immortal 3. Because he got what he wanted, he's gonna get the, the gun buddy, or yeah, he's, he, he's gonna get the gun buddy, he can feel like he's accomplished, he can show off his Radiant badge. There's been a lot of posts and um, videos from other content creators revolving around that type of boosting. Ghoul... Game Leap and Eggwick are some off the top of my head that you can go quickly look up on YouTube if you want some more examples or um, some more details. In fact, I believe Ghoul went through the EU Radiant leaderboard and found 20 to 30 accounts that had climbed into Radiant using these illegitimate methods. But what I really want to focus on in this video is the five stack abuse where they are win trading and they are manipulating the MMR and the Q system. Now, the best way to illustrate this is to simply show you the match history and show you their stats. As you can see, without me even scrolling down on these five accounts, their win loss is absolutely ridiculous. 206 and 2, 208 and 3, 202 and 3, 204 and 2, and 204 and 3. These five accounts, by the way, are the same five accounts that are queuing together, which is why their win losses are so similar. Now, these accounts are obviously employing a much more coordinated effort, and uh, these are brand new accounts, by the way. They have no history in previous acts, so I'm willing to bet that these accounts are being boosted to high elo 
to sell and they're not actual personal accounts compared to the one I just showed you where they have hundreds of games played in all these previous acts as they slowly climb through the ranks. Starting on December 22nd, playing their placement games, these accounts played between 30 to 60 games a day and went from being placed all the way into Radiant in four days. From December 22nd to December 26th, they played over 200 matches each. And just to show you a brief selection, I went through and I clicked on six matches all the way down from when they were in gold, plat, diamond, etc. And as you can see, starting with these games in gold, they are matching against the same five players. Keep in mind that Tracker shows you their current rank under their name and the rank during the match under match rank. These, and you can tell from the names, right? FDG, HGD, Loop, Toop, Coop, that these are obviously people working together in a very specific manner. Every match, as you can see from scrolling, is forfeited at round five. Every match, everybody in the lobby seems to go 1-1. One, one. And somehow, no matter what the rank is of the actual accounts, they continue to match against these accounts in iron and bronze. And it is because what I read apparently is that when you FF, the winning team's hidden MMR doesn't change, even though they gain rank rating, which means you can see in gold, in plat, when they're diamond, when they're ascendant, now they're an immortal, they're still playing against these five iron accounts because this team is forfeiting every single match. Therefore, this account's hidden MMR is not changing, even though they're an immortal, or if the hidden MMR is changing, it is very little. And they did this all the way up until Radiant. Remember, in Valorant, your rank and your actual skill level are separate. You are not queued based off of your rank. You are queued and matched based off of your hidden MMR. This means that even though these accounts will have hit Radiant, the game will think that they're at a much lower level. Now, most likely, like I said, the reason that these are fresh accounts utilizing this method to get it to high elo as fast as possible is I'm assuming because these accounts are being boosted to be sold. There are boosting and account selling discords and sites that are making thousands of dollars off of like this practice, so I wouldn't doubt it at all. To further prove my point, not a single one of these accounts since utilizing this win trading boosting method to hit Radiant has played a match since hitting Radiant, because like I said, I'm assuming these accounts are being boosted to this elo to sell and they don't want to play and risk losing the rank except one and this is this is really egregious this account here after hitting radiant on december 26th as you can see this all these two twos he decided to play more games and you can look at these games and go wow look at him 380 r incredible 21 5 28 15 he's doing really well let's take a look at the matches briefly just to see he is a Radiant level player playing in a lobby. I shouldn't say a Radiant level player, but his account is Radiant playing in a lobby full of golds and plats. What about this game too? Wow, look, Radiant in a lobby full of golds and plats. Golds and plats with one diamond. And like I said, these players are most likely Smurfs in general. Like very clearly with his scoreline and his stats here, he's not a gold or a plat player. He's definitely better than that. But because they were able to get all the way to Radiant, without ever really increasing their hidden MMR by having the other team forfeit every single match, the game thinks that he is a gold or plat level player, even though he's radiant. And the worst part of this all is he is solo queuing in these games. All of these games that he has played since hitting radiant, he's solo queued. That means he's not getting rank rating penalties. That means since this 2-2 boosting ended, he is here climbing the radiant leaderboard by solo queuing into lobbies full of golds and plats. Now look, whether you're boosting via this win trading manipulation or the former where you're simply queuing with four smurfs, you know, friends that get on smurfs so you guys can win matches over and over, this completely destroys any competitive integrity that ranked has. It's meant to be the top 500 players in the region, right? Radiant is meant to be at least a little prestigious and something that proves you're a high level player and people are just climbing into it via these methods. So what is the solution? Well, the first and most simple one would be to completely separate the five stack rank from the solo duo trio Q rank. This is what most games do that have no limitation on rank discrepancy in certain queues, even League of Legends. And it's because having one rank for different Q types in a game where there is no rank limitation on five stacks is a system that is ripe for abuse. 
In November 2021, patch 3.10, Riot, in an effort to reduce smurfing, removed all ranked restrictions from 5-stack parties as well as removing 4 queues. But there was pretty heavy rank rating reductions that increased with the rank discrepancy of your party. Then, in April 2022, patch 4.08, Riot reduced the RR gain and loss penalty, making it so that there was no RR penalty from Iron to Diamond 2, 25% for Diamond 3 to Immortal 3, and 75% for Radiant. And lastly, in June 2022, patch 5.0, which was the same patch that introduced Ascendant, Riot further lowered the restrictions when it came to 5 stacking, pushing the 25% RR penalty starting point from Diamond 3 to Immortal 1, starting with the initial change to remove any ranked limitations on 5 stacks. Every following patch that touched them made it easier and easier for people to use loopholes in the system to boost and climb into high ranks, which is exactly what Riot was trying to avoid, or at least make more difficult with the 5.0 patch. I've been seeing a significant amount of videos from content creators, posts on the subreddit, etc. dating back at least 6 months, with the topic popping up more and more frequently. This shows to me that although the problem may have started when the 5 stack limitation was removed in November 2021, it really exploded as they continued to lessen restrictions and increase the potential RR gain. Now, the whole reason that Riot removed the rank restrictions on 5 stacking was to reduce smurfing, as stated themselves in the patch notes, and Evermore even comments on it in a tweet here. The issue here is that, just like the reply that you can see on Twitter states, which is also my opinion, is that very few high elo players would actually 5 stack with their lower elo friends on their main account. If they're trying to play with their lower elo friends, they're much more likely just to go smurf so they can play with less stress and have fun and not really care about the result or worry about their rank rating. And although some would because yes, your rank rating losses are also reduced when you're queued with lower elo people, when you're trying to climb the leaderboard in really high elo on talking top of Immortal 3 into Radiant, all your RR matters. And not only that, you're going to get matched against more difficult players. So why wouldn't you just get on a smurf and have an easier, more casual experience? So, separating the ranks to me seems to be the simplest and most logical solution, which is why, like I said, most games that have no rank restrictions on 5 queues do not have the ranks be just one rank between 5 queues and solo queues, etc. In fact, I'm not sure that there's another solution that would fix the 5 stack abuse of people smurfing on 4 low elo accounts to boost one player. Evermore states in tweets both from August and June of 2022 that they monitor ranked leaderboards and that they are aware of these players abusing the system. He states that they take action against these bad actors and that they will continue to refine their detection systems. Now, I have no doubt that these things are true, but how do you not detect these accounts with these outlandishly ridiculous stats? Brand new accounts going from placements to radiance in four days, playing between 30 and 60 matches a day. Every match, five stack versus the same five opponents. Every game forfeited at round five. All of these accounts going 202 in win loss, which is just, you know, at such an unrealistic win rate if you don't understand. I just don't know how their detection systems work, but I don't know how these accounts wouldn't be like auto flag because the combination of extremely sketchy matches and obviously blatant numbers is proof enough of abuse without even doing a little bit more of an investigation and just looking a little bit more into it, it's extremely obvious. I think something desperately needs to be done. I think people are getting more and more frustrated and sick of a lot of the BS that they experience in ranked problems that are out of their control and are intrinsic to a broken system. These problems are extending into the highest elo in the game and ruining the competitive integrity and removing people's desire to continue the ranked grind. Personally, after they fix the issues with 5 stack abuse and any problems in a similar vein, I'm in favor of a hard MMR reset. I know that they've done soft resets and I think some harsher resets at the start of a new episode, but I don't think that they've ever hard reset MMR. I don't think hard MMR resets should be frequent, but with the growth in the game since its launch two and a half years ago, and the fact that I don't think there's ever been a hard MMR reset, I think that it could be appropriate after attending to all the boosting issues to sort of wipe the slate clean and help reset these accounts that don't belong in the ELO. Like I said, there's a lot more problems to address in Ranked. I just wanted to talk about this because I've, I haven't seen a lot of people talking about this win trading issue, just the you know typical five stack boosting with four friends on Smurfs. And many people are talking about the crypto betting right now. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have suggestions for possible solutions other than what I stated, and let me know if you've been experiencing the same type of issues in Ranked. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one.